You might not think of Canada as a nation of gun lovers. Oh, fuck! Especially when compared to our neighbors to the south. I love liberty, and firearms are an important tool in that. But the reality is, among developed countries, Canada ranks as high as fifth in guns per capita. Even yeah, see? Switzerland has the fucking second highest, like, gun ownership per capita. And yet, none of them touch, dude. And by the way, this is in 2016. This number is now incorrect. There are officially more guns than people in the United States of America, for the record. That's not even true. There are like 110 guns per, or 120 guns per 100 people in America now. Oh, these are 2007 numbers. Sorry. Yeah. In 2007, that was 95.3 guns per 100 people. It's now 120 guns per 100 people. There's more guns than there are people in this country. Uh, of course, fear not. Uh, the overwhelming majority of those guns are actually owned by gun hoarders, uh, singular collectors and whatnot. Uh, just kidding. That should terrify you because uh, these people are fucking psychos. I Let's keep going. in guns per capita. Even more surprising, the number of registered handguns and AR-15s owned by Canadians has doubled in the last 10 years. One explanation could be the growing popularity of recreational shooting in Canada. People who take up shooting sports own guns simply for the fun of target shooting rather than hunting. But like many of my fellow Canadians, especially those of us living in cities, I'm pretty clueless about how our gun laws actually work. So, to experience Canada's gun laws firsthand, I'm going through the whole process of getting a firearms license and buying a gun in Canada. My first stop is a gun store just outside of Toronto. Adam gives me the 101 on our laws. So what brings you in today? Well, I want to become a gun owner. So basically in Canada, uh, you're going to need to get a firearms license. It's called the Possession and Acquisition License. I mean, without one of those licenses, I wouldn't be able to just come in here and purchase one of these guns. No, of course. Do you ever get that question? Like, do people ever come in here expecting to be able to buy a gun? We get uh, people who are more so surprised. He's about to be like, uh, he's about to be like, yeah, Americans. <laughs> that you can own these types of firearms in Canada. So this is an AR-15. Okay. God damn it. Canada more like commie, duh. More like commie, duh. Can't buy a god dang weapon off the god dang rack. You fucking kidding me? This is a SL-8, uh, is what we call a 1911. Apparently on Tinder outside of America, the majority of profiles don't have a pic of them holding a gun wild. That's crazy. What you're talking is nonsense. How will anybody know that they're not gay? I don't understand it. You're on a date nap or you're not holding a god dang bass or you're not holding a god dang colt. How will people know I like to fuck pussy and I would shudder in fear thinking about, you know, hot dicks, big, thick, hot cocks that would make me terrified. I hate that. So I fuck my gun instead, which is foul like a nature. It feels like second cock. You call gun collectors crazy, but your friends spend thousands on useless Pokemon cards? Yeah, when you can fucking throw a Charizard card and then an actual Charizard appears and fucking blows up an entire school, that's when you can fucking criticize my friends' hobbies of collecting stupid Pokemon cards, okay? You really thought that that was a good fucking argument, dude? You're so stupid. God damn, dude. What a fucking Insane idiot. Video. Oh that my god. That's cool. I like the gold. What the fuck is that? Uh, this is what's called the Chris Vector. It's a very interesting gun. So what would you be using this for? Other yeah, than like scaring people. <laughs> <laughs> Generally, you don't want to scare people. Bro, she's putting out vibes over there, by the way. She likes them a little bit. Uh, isn't that a fucking like suppressor built into the muzzle itself? Like that's it's like a that's for assassinations, dude. I mean, sorry, it's for when you want to shoot someone and, uh, you know, uh, and, and you don't want where the shots are coming from. No, that's just a barrel. Wait, really? It's not like. People with their <laughs> firearms in Canada, we're really limited in terms of uses for firearms. Yeah, right. You're it's... either going to the range and having fun or you're going hunting. So there aren't people here who would be buying a gun for self-defense. No, we don't have what are called like castle laws or standard ground laws. If you're familiar with those terms at all from our neighbors to the south. 
By stand your ground, Adam is referring to laws in more than 30 U.S. states that allow private citizens to shoot someone if they feel their lives are in danger. 22 states even extend these rights outside the home to any public place. By contrast, Canada's self-defense laws only allow for use of reasonable force, which is always left to a judge's discretion. With very few exceptions, it's basically never... And by that, I mean pussy judges. You know, academics went to law school, know the law. You really want a bunch of lip tards telling me if I can't shoot people that are coming in down my coming down my doorway? What do you mean to tell me they were simply selling Girl Scout cookies? They were black. Who knows? What the fuck was in them cookies in them boxes? Illegal to shoot someone. So we are here like this is a golf store. It's just a different sport. So before you can even consider buying a gun in Canada, you've got to take a government safety course. But first, I'm heading to a range west of Toronto to check out a popular shooting sport called Ipsic, where I'll try- Joke's on you, I can't read. Try out shooting for the first time. I just feel like I'm gonna suck. Like, of course I'm gonna suck. Or but... you could do really well. IPSC is International Practical Shooting Confederation. You shoot stages, you get classified, timed. It was designed for law enforcement to boost their shooting skills. Now it's purely an athletic sport. It combines athleticism with strategy as well as shooting. So that's three of the best things in the world, I think. I do competitive shooting with my husband. We recently bought a bunch of guns and apparently guns are like tattoos, like you just have to keep collecting them. Dude, she's the most Canadian girl, dude. Every Canadian girl is like this. I don't know why. They have this, like, very kind energy, but, like, you can, you know they're, they're crazy. Every Canadian girl I've ever met is exactly like this. Can you tell us a little bit about how you got into shooting sports? I follow a lot of people, like, in the Instagram. And girls were beautiful at like, shooting Ipsic. Do you have a lot of cool, like, gun photos on your Instagram? Yeah, of course. This is my three-gun belt. Jesus. We have to change your shirt okay. first. You okay. might want to go do that. And okay. then, because everything gets tucked in, you have to tuck everything in. You want me to tuck these into my pants? Into your pants. It's going to look so whack. Okay. This is not a fashion <laughs> thing here. It's, uh... Okay. okay. Oh, these are, like, the kindest gun nuts I've ever met, by the way. Like, they... Dude, Canada can't even gun nut right. Like, they're all, like, super fucking nice. They're not, like, constantly talking about you how they're doing work, this man. because, like, yee yee freedom. It's like, where are the fucking... Where, where is the moralistic grandstanding? Where is the ideological posturing? Where is the mass consumption being a, a, a significant part of their, like, personal identity and the way they see themselves? Why aren't they fucking talking? Why aren't they saying yee yee? I need my gun! I'll shoot Justin Trudeau in the dick. Like, well, what's going on there? Well, why are they like still sane? Well, also, I mean, they're probably still insane for with the rest of like compared to the rest of Canada, but like actually surprising that uh, these guys are just basically talking about like, yeah, oh, I love my guns. Here's my triple. Hey, what do you mean? It's not a stylistic choice, of course. Go to Alberta. Yeah, look at you, Art. Just, now you're rocking it. I'll feel more badass with the holster. Yeah, absolutely. Is it gonna hurt? Not at all. Sweet, so I have a loaded gun on me. No, you don't. Never hand a reporter a loaded gun. How? Up. Okay. Now we've got one round. And just squeeze, look at that front sight on, and squeeze the trigger. There you go. That's an alpha. Alpha. Fuck. <laughs> There's no way that I could like fuck up and like kill someone, right? If like... you <laughs> turned around, aim the gun at someone and shot them, yes. I've had people shoot the gun, throw it and run. Yeah. So you didn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is an AR-15. Flick the bad. Oh. Look. This is a person who's never shot a gun. Watch how she shoots this compared to the handgun. Push it down. There you go. It's loaded. Okay. There's more. There's got. Look at how much easier it is to shoot this gun 
than the handgun. Do you understand? Pre-watched? No, I pre-lived. This is why I always fucking talk about how... And, and her form is dog shit. She's like never shot a fucking gun before. Hi, chat. But the low recoil is, is uh, what makes the AR-15 a gun that even children and women can use. Yes. Also, everybody knows that it's called an automatic rifle 15. Because it's automatic. Okay. So this gun has kind of a bad reputation, as you may Oh, yes, know. absolutely. Do you think it's justified? Absolutely not. Oh, uh, I thought I was going to be like, yeah, it's actually pretty horrible. It's like, why are lots of Honda Civics used by drunk drivers? Because many people drive Honda Civics. Right. The AR-15 is the most popular gun in North America. Do you think that Canada should have more American-style gun laws? You can't say American system. All right. If you actually look at the American system, mm -hmm. it's down to a county level. Canada has an advantage, we say federal. John's right about American gun laws being complicated. They vary widely across the country. 43 states don't require permits to buy long guns, and 36 states don't require permits for handguns. There are no magazine capacity restrictions in 42 states, no background checks at gun shows or online in 31 states. And at least 12 states even allow unregulated open carry of handguns. That's changing in, uh, brother, that's going to change in Canada to too. You know what I'm saying? Yee, yee, baby, food. let's go. Keep it up. Call oh, yee, yee time. It's Armalite Rifle 15, not automatic. No, dude, you're wrong. It's literally automatic rifle 15. God, dummy. First of all, if it was Armalite Rifle 15, then it would be ALR. It's Automatic Rifle, AR. And also it was built in 2015. That's why it's called Automatic Rifle 2015. That's the full name of it. In Canada, it's just one set of laws for the whole country. You need training and a license to buy any gun. I feel like there's... I feel like there's gun nuts in here that have like seen me. They've watched videos of me like shooting a fucking Draco, an automatic shotgun. And even then, whenever I say it's automatic rival 15, there's like something that literally they can't stop themselves. Like they can't be like, he's probably joking. Yeah. Like they're like, ah, ah it's Armalite. <laughs> It's like, dude, you've seen me shoot weapons and shit. Yeah, it's automatic rifle 15 because it's an automatic rifle and not semi-automatic. Semi-auto rifles like the AR. She's lying. It's actually an automatic rifle. <laughs> yes, AK stands for automatic killer 47 because you can kill 47 with a, with a clip. Yeah. That's what it stands for. Yes, with a clip. When you put a clip on your automatic uh, killer, 47, you can kill 47 in a row. ...are limited to five rounds, and handguns are limited to 10. Oh I love these, like... Uh, I love how infantilizing their fucking magazines and their clips are, by the way. It is, it is, it's funny. Like, look at the... For the whole country, you need training and a license to buy any gun. Semi-auto rifles, like the AR, are limited to... Like, look at that. That is, like, that's a baby. That's, you're a baby. How are you going to do a mass shooting with that? Wait, what do you got, 10 rounds in there, dude? Five? Jesus Christ, dude. ARs may be limited, but not limited to the five rounds, and handguns are limited to 10. Only about seven US states have laws that compare to Canada's. 
Do you think that Canada should loosen some of its gun laws? The ones that are a waste of time, having firearms that are good firearms and bad firearms. Okay, like restricted. Restricted, prohibited, non-restricted. It should be licensing, mental health screening, background checks. That all makes some sense. Yeah. Stop. This is the most yee yee motherfucker you could find. Shut up. Shut up. This guy's a pussy ass lip dart in America. Okay. Like literally every every gun person be like, what? Huh? Are you fucking kidding me? Not on my watch. Over my goddamn dead body. Like this is the this is the most like. <laughs> This is the most yee yee gun nut in Canada. Yeah, of course. I would love to over regulate this. I mean, these are death machines after all. You know, you absolutely need background check, psychiatric uh, treatment. Meanwhile, they're like, liberals will literally, I mean, liberals, uh, conservatives will turn into like a uh, disability activists. Like, what do you mean? I'm on the range. I don't want you untrained. I want you trained because mm -hmm. I'm standing next to you. So it's safer for us if you're trained. Did I even hit any of them? Oh, you shot that way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a few weeks later, I've completed my firearm safety course. Due to privacy, I wasn't allowed to film inside my classroom, but I'm going to see Sherry Sadowskis, the chief firearms instructor in Ontario, to talk about the government course every Canadian has to pass. You must understand that rules have to be observed whenever you come in contact with firearms. Uh -huh. Firearm safety is not negotiable. So I must you say learn your social responsibilities as a firearm like Essentially, what it is, is in-classroom time and practical less. handling. You have what type of firearm in front of you there? The lever action. Lever action. Very good. I'd like you to prove it. This is insane, dude. This is actually fucking psychotic. Like, how much more reasonable the process is to be able to get a gun in Canada? Like, why can't we have this, bro? Why? I want, like, the most yee-yee motherfucker to be like that gun guy, the gun nut, the Canadian, to just be like, of course I would like to make sure that people get a government course. Meanwhile, I got leftists in the chat from Iowa who, like, fucking fancy themselves to be, like, Maoist third worldists, right? That are like, oh, what are you talking about? The proletariat can't take an expensive course. All you're doing is uh, creating a classist division between those who have the guns and those who have not. For the people who say, you're wrong, like, we have this here. Okay, dude. Uh, no, not to the same degree. And, uh... Like, I, I'm a firm believer that we should have, like, at the very least, a similar level of control over shooting guns as we do of driving, okay? And driving is a utility. Like, driving has significantly more utility than fucking gun ownership, right? And even then, we control the fuck out of it and regulate the fuck out of it. We should absolutely do that for guns as a start, as a starting point, as a start. Let's see. So, safety is on. Clear. Load two rounds into that firearm, please. Okay, it was certainly a lot easier than my driving test. I went too far. <laughs> I don't know if it's easy. It depends on the person, right? It's like writing any test. Okay. Have you done the prep, Tony? I mean, I'm outing myself here, but I didn't open the study guide. And then I ended up getting 94 on the written. Good. Great for you. <laughs> and that's probably because you have good instructors. You kept your finger off the trigger and outside the trigger guard. These are all the things that we teach in the class. So you did a good job. Before I can buy anything, I still have to apply for my Canadian gun license, my PAL. So I've received my um, possession and acquisition application form. When you have a restricted firearms license, you have to state the path you travel with the pistol to the range you use with the RCMP. Any deviation from said path can get your license revoked. You can only shoot that restricted at your home range. Fuck yeah. Absolutely fuck yeah, dude. What an incredibly reasonable fucking thing to do. What a reasonably, what a reasonable and good 
fucking idea. In CT, you have to pass an FBI background check and no felonies before you can get a permit. So, the thing I was going to say is, like, in America, none of these rules exist depending on what state you're at. And that fucking sucks, dude. It's insane. It just, it's so sad. During the past two years, have you experienced a divorce, a separation, a breakdown of a significant relationship, job loss, or bankruptcy? Honestly, I wish I had a breakup to be grumpy about. Lucky me, I don't have to provide any of this information. This is making me feel really sad about my life right now. And now wants my references. What's up? <laughs> so you want to buy a gun? Yeah. Um, how do you feel about me being a gun owner? You seem pretty responsible to me and non-violent. <laughs> no, I actually think it's a terrible idea. Don't do it. Really? No. Why? Because people who have guns get shot. I feel like that's mostly like criminals though, or people who have like illegal guns. So I just need people who've known me for at least three years. He or she cannot be my conjugal partner. So by the way, that sounds like an insane thing that she said, but it's literally statistically true. It's both true because like the likelihood of you having a gun increases the chance that you're going to hurt yourself with that gun by an insane fucking uh, margin. But she's also completely correct with respect to like having a gun also increases the likelihood that you will escalate any sort of altercation where you have a gun to one where there is gun violence. Not yet. <laughs> it's never too late. <laughs> can I shoot it sometimes? So you have to get a license to own it, but yeah, we, we can totally go shooting together. We should. Cool. That actually sounds fun. Yeah, let's do it. Even though many of the same notorious guns allowed in the U.S. are available in Canada, it takes a lot longer to buy your first gun. In Canada, the licensing regime is extremely strict. We are the most scrutinized individuals in the country. There's a whole process to getting a license. Your spouse has to sign off on it, mental health history. But you also get a criminal record check every day. And a firearms owner in Canada is the only citizen in this country that gets a criminal record check every day. Do you guys think that it's unfair? Literally the greatest. I'm moving to Canada, dude. Fuck me. What an incredible system, dude. God damn it. It's like the best fucking system of all time. It just makes so much sense. It's such a pathetic state of affairs. When I look to like some of the most common sense fucking gun control arguments and I look at them like with my mouth watering, like imagining a future where America would be like half as fucking intelligent and proactive about like uh, gun control. Like just insane, like insane. It's so fucking sad. Living in America is so sad, dude. It's such a pathetic fucking existence where we like, where we look to fucking Canada, America's hat with envy because they have like healthcare and also reasonable gun laws. God damn it, dude. Unfair. No, because we're law abiding people. I've got nothing to hide. You can oh my check God. my background. Oh my you God. You can run me through CPIC every day. These are like the fucking gun advocacy people, dude. Can you imagine a gun advocacy person saying stuff like that? Are you fucking joking? And I'm okay with that. It encourages you. You have a lot to lose. PAL holders were, what, two-thirds less likely than the general population to commit any crime, even property crime, because you have people so in touch with the law, in touch with regulation, and making sure they're always compliant. We're just everyday people who kind of have an extraordinary hobby. At a range just outside of Ottawa, Tracy is going to show me her favorite shooting sport. Ooh. Long-range target practice. It's a Remington Model 700. How far can this gun shoot? Over a kilometer. And this is the ammunition, 338 Lapua. So they're big rounds. Mm -hmm. It's hard with my nails, but that's the <laughs> price you pay. Nice. Is it going to be loud? Yeah. Ah. 
somehow. You want to give it a try? These are girl bosses. They are gatekeeping. They are slay queening. All in the name of Allah. <laughs> Uh, three, two, one. How was that? Yeah, except for when the state has the much larger monopoly on violence there, so I really don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you won't, because you're a fucking LARPing ass, dumbass fucking libertarian socialist, so you will never understand it, okay? Just because you're one step removed from the fucking baboons that say, actually, it's a febophilia doesn't change the reality that you have actual baboon-like fucking understandings of uh, gun laws and the necessary uh, steps that the government should be taking with respect to regulations, okay? You are literally making the same exact fucking argument that conservative gun nuts make when they say stuff like, I, at least I'm free, brother. Yeah, you're not, dude. You're literally not. Um, I did not enjoy that. I just instinctively started to walk towards the parking lot because I found it to be just too aggressive for me. Is that weird? That, no, that's perfectly normal. And here's the thing, is you just shot the beast. So everything you shoot from here on out is gonna seem like a baby gun. So now Ann comes and libertarian socials are bad? No. But those who fucking believe that there should be no restriction on like, Gun ownership are fucking psychotic. And they're also against the, the betterment of society. They're against, like, the welfare of everyone. Okay? So, they're fucking dumb. I'm sorry. And I say this as someone who uh, likes guns. Okay? I, I love shooting murder dildos. I think they're cool. I think they're fun. I totally get it. I probably shot more guns than most of the motherfuckers who LARP as, like, gun nuts. Okay? But goddamn, dude, if you're going to fucking stand in front of, like, a reasonable gun control, like, actually reasonable gun control, that's going to make it a little bit harder for the working class to be able to get weapons. But, like, just not by a lot, but also it's still going to make it harder for the rich to get weapons, too. Then you're a fucking jackass, dude. 21 million guns in Canada. There's 2 million licensed gun owners. And we think around 2 million more people that are in peaceful possession of a firearm that don't have a license. Yet we don't have the shootings. Rod argues that America's problem with guns is due to a number of complex factors, but the basic facts are pretty grim. In an average year, there are about 160 gun-related homicides in Canada, compared to more than 11,000 in the U.S. Even adjusted for population, the gun homicide rate is still seven times higher per capita <laughs> Why? Because we got fucking freedom, that's why! <laughs> and the people that defend it are no different than the people who are like... The people that defend this idiotic thing are the exact same type of fucking hog there's the people that are like, yeah, I don't give a fuck that we pay 10 times the price on insulin. I don't give a fuck because we got freedom. ...in the U.S. than it is here. Canada does have a slightly higher rate of gun homicide compared to our peers. But when developed countries are grouped together and compared to the U.S., no other Western nation even comes close. Unlike in Canada, many Americans consider being armed a birthright. To get a better understanding of the differences between Canadian and American gun cultures, I joined the National Rifle Association. Free Tuffle Bay, what up? Now I'm heading to the annual NRA convention, the largest gathering of gun owners in the entire world, in Louisville, Kentucky this year. More than this is the worst video I've ever watched. It made me so sad. Like, she didn't have to do this, okay? She could have just kept the whole, like, first half, and then, you know, we would have been like, oh, wow, look at how wonderful Canada is. Like, now it's just a flex, you know what I mean? Now it's just going to be so fucking sad. Thanks for showing 
Thanks for actually showing how dumb my point is. You actually do educate people on stream? What do you mean? What was your point? Oh, you said except for the state having, having a monopoly on violence. Oh. He said, thanks for your education. Oh, man. Nice. More than 80,000 NRA members are here to attend a trade show the size of two massive airplane hangars and to hear Donald Trump and other right-wing personalities deliver pro-gun speeches. We talk about Paris or we talk about San Bernardino. If they knew there were guns in the room, it might not have happened. You're here at the NRA show. I would guess a majority of people here are armed today. You're seeing some people openly carry firearms on the floor. That's not creating panic. That's not creating discord or disorder to so most NRA members. And I am. That's not. It should though. In this way, it's not about guns. I don't love guns. What do I love? I love freedom. It's a symbol in and of itself. It's a, okay. it's a, a stand in for a bigger idea. Okay. What do you think is freedom? Generally? Yeah. Okay. Liberty. Liberty. Do you know anything about gun laws in Canada? Obviously, um, you find folks do not have the um, ensconced right of to keep and bear arms in yeah. your constitution that we do. I, I think that that's a denial of a basic human right, quite frankly. I think it's a natural right. And it's a denial of a basic human right to not have a Beretta 50 cal. I think because like I'm not American bred, you know what I mean? Because I came here when I was 18. I will never be able to, this is one area where I'll just never be able to understand the mind of a hog. Like in many instances, like I kind of get where people are coming from in a lot of instances, like in like a lot of different issues, but I will never be able to comprehend why people legitimately have this idea that like guns are a basic human right. Okay. Because, like, in the last 40 fucking years, you know, a bunch of Supreme Court justices, like, decided to interpret the Second Amendment this way. I, I will never, and most people outside of America will never be able to understand how people can say things like this. I will never understand it. Like, I can have... Conversation with that guy for a year. I can live with that guy for a year. We go to the gun range every day. I'll shoot guns, learn how to fucking pick them apart, put them back together, you know, clean him. I will never understand how you can literally think like, no, nah, it's my constitutionally protected God-given right to own a fucking weapon of murder. Like, no, that's not true. I don't give a fuck what some fucking parchment says, you dumb fuck. Made by like, slave owners who who also literally built in changes to that fucking parchment that's supposed to be you know changing over time and our interpretation is supposed to be different over time fuck and then those very same dumbass hogs are like i have a fucking god-given right to own a weapon but no god-given right to shelter or health care things that you literally fucking need for survival I have no God-given right to food. I have no God-given right to fucking uh, shelter. I have no God-given right to health care. I have no God-given right to fucking pursue meaningful endeavors and educate myself and be able to live a fulfilling life. I just have a God-given right to be able to own a Beretta 50 cal that I shoot that makes me feel like I got a big fucking pee-pee every goddamn weekend. That's it. It's so pathetic. It's so materialistic. It's so fucking focused on like pairing your identity with like an idiotic thing, a murder dildo that you have chosen as your beacon of freedom and individuality. When in fact, it's a bunch of, it's a way for a bunch of gun manufacturers, a bunch of small arms manufacturers to shill out and sell you surplus weapons that they fucking made for war. That's it. And you are a fucking dumbass. You got caught up in the fucking agenda and, and now you, you not only love purchasing this shit, but you've made it your entire identity. And better yet, you think it's a fucking beacon of freedom. With the hot lib takes, this is not a fucking lib take, man. I say this as someone who loves shooting guns. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to fucking suck off a gun on camera? Is that what you want me to do? You want me to put an AR-15 in my asshole, dude? I fucking love shooting guns. They're fun as fuck. How many times do I have to fucking admit that to you, man? 
But ultimately, it's a fucking killing machine. It's like its only design is to end, like, the or end organic life. You're literally a rip libtard. Yeah, I know. In my world view, a God-given right. Are you generally armed? Do you like you see these fucking hogs that are probably like also anti-vaxxers and shit, and you go, "Yep, no, I agree with that." It's not creating panic. That's not creating discord Listen or disorder. To, this guy again. to most NRA members, and I am this way. It's not about guns. I don't love guns. What do I love? I love freedom. It's a symbol in and of itself. It's a okay. it's a, a stand-in for a bigger idea. Okay. What do you think is freedom generally? Yeah. Okay. Liberty. Liberty. Do you know anything about gun laws in Canada? Obviously, um, you find folks do not have the um, ensconced right of to keep and bear arms in no. your constitution that we do. I, I think that that's a denial of a basic human right, quite frankly. I think it's a natural right, and in my world view, a God-given right. Are you generally armed? Do you I'm armed, armed every day. Yeah. But I'm not always armed with a gun. Okay. Okay, I have a knife. I have a Cubiton, I have a taser, I have a stun gun, I have, you name it. The reason that I opened the Women's Shooting Academy was because two men tried to kidnap my 10-year-old daughter and throw her in the trunk of a car. And when I called the police, they did not come. So I realized that I'm it. I am it. I am my first responder. And if I asked you this question, what is your safety worth? Because I asked you that question and you said it's worth everything. Yeah. So my second question to you is, what are you doing about it? I mean, to be perfectly honest, on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't think about it. Where in Canada is this convention? It's a place called America. That's where the convention is, you know. Uh, Canada's underwear or pants, if you will. There is no NRA convention in Canada. The only conventions that are similar to this are like weapons manufacturers that fucking bring in Saudi royalty, which they sell weapons to. But that's it. That's where, that's where like Canadians have these kinds of fucking uh, conventions. Then they'll act like, uh, you know, they're above it all. They're high and mighty and they would never arm like violent fucking theocratic monarchies. But ultimately they absolutely are the same exact type of dipshit. I'm sure Canada has gun shows too, chat. You are literally delusional if you think that their gun shows are in any way, shape, or form similar to ours. You've never been to a gun show in America. If you think that, there is nothing that, nothing that compares to American gun shows. And I tell you this as someone who's been to many, okay? First of all, the amount of Nazi memorabilia that they fucking sell in an Oklahoma gun show is insane. And it's not like a special gun show. It's one that is... Uh, the one that is, like, available every weekend, okay? If you ask them why they're selling Confederate and also Nazi memorabilia, but not really any, like, communist memorabilia, they'll say they're because they're fans of history. Why the fuck are you asking? What are you, the ATF? You need to tell me. It's illegal if you don't tell me, motherfucker. Um, anyway. <clears throat> any gun show you go to in America, you're going to fucking very quickly find Nazi shit. So I want to take you to a place that you think about it every day. Then aren't you sort of encouraging people to live in a state of fear or potentially paranoia? No, absolutely not. The farthest thing from fear and paranoia is called being prepared. If you rape me... Oh, this lady is, is insane. Like, her life sucks. Game on. I'm not gonna die at your hands, unless it's God's will. And if it's God's will, then it's my day to die anyway. Despite the fact that mass shootings get most of the media coverage in the US, they only make up a tiny percentage of overall gun homicides. In Canada, they are so rare that no official source keeps track of them. And in 16 of the worst recent mass shootings in the U.S., a majority of guns used were bought legally with a federal background check, even though half the shooters had criminal histories or documented mental health problems the system did not uncover. This is one red flag the Canadian system is designed to catch. 
And the criteria that we use to determine whether someone gets a firearms license is, is based on do they have a criminal history, mental illness, violence, threats or attempted violence. Let's say that someone was to self-report that they have issues with mental illness, that they have depression. Would that automatically disqualify them? No, it doesn't automatically, but it, but it, it triggers us to do some more inquiries. It's not just you're battling depression, are you elevating the risk to yourself or others based on your, on your condition, that you might take, do something harmful to yourself or somebody else. In fact, of the more than 2,300 gun licenses revoked in Canada every year, over one-third are due to mental health-related reasons. Perhaps most shocking, of all annual gun deaths, the vast majority are suicides, more than all other causes combined. Suicide by firearm has been the elephant in the room. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Another one of my favorite fucking takes by American Gun Nuts is like, well, it's a mental health problem. Okay, can we address the mental? No! No, we can't! That's called communism, motherfucker. You want to deal with the mental health problem? Then, you know, you just got to fucking uh, pick up yourself by your bootstraps. Basically, firearms have been my life. So... 2014, I was actually taken off work for a major depressive episode, and my license was up for renewal. <laughs> they had to go a step further, and that step further was an interview with me. And they contacted my ex-wife and asked her if I was a threat to myself or to anybody else, mm -hmm. and she said no, never have been, and I got the help I needed. Then uh, my license was renewed with no problems. It seems like the Canadian system is doing its best to prevent tragedies before they happen. If it saves lives, maybe... Yeah, it's called freedom, dude. Have you looked it up in the dictionary, you dumb Canadians? It's the freedom to be able to fucking blow your face off and not actually successfully kill yourself when you use a gun, which is very common, by the way. Because everybody dramatically puts it in their fucking mouth. That's called freedom, actually, when you fucking uh, cause irreparable damage and make your life significantly worse, but then end up surviving the, uh, the, the fucking uh, suicide uh, gunshot. Yeah, I, I don't understand why you wouldn't let that happen. Uh, it's called freedom, uh, but I guess, uh, you know, Americans are built differently. Be waiting a few extra weeks for a license isn't such a bad thing. And open the action. Finally, nearly seven weeks after sending my application. Why do chuds fight so hard to die? I don't know. Have you ever fucking seen uh, the way they operate around COVID? I don't know, man. I think they just fucking don't like the world or something. I don't know what it is. I literally don't get it. Like, I have a lot of fucking, uh, you know, shitty days. I, I, I feel awful. You don't really see a lot of chuds that are depressed, you know what I mean? They're so fucking ignorant, they're so stupid that, like, half the time I feel like they're, they don't seem depressed. But they're literally suicidal, like, their fucking entire worldview is suicidal. It's so strange. Can't be depressed if you can't be reflective in a critical way. Vacation in, I received my pal from the government. This shit took a while. It's a serious photo. I know. It looks pretty badass. I look like I'm gonna shoot someone. I had the most fun with the lever action rifles. Oh, let's look at that one. Okay. Henry Big Boy. <laughs> you think I should get the Henry Big Boy? <laughs> yeah, AIDS. This makes me so sad. Like, look at them enjoying themselves and like, it literally feels like a flex. It feels like I am a lefty on the fucking internet and I just saw a prominent left-wing political commentator buy a $2.7 million house. They are literally buying a $2.7 million house in front of my fucking eyes right now. It's like making me angry to see them like, uh, you know, go through a seven week process and like, you know, actually follow the law and have like legitimate safety uh, checks in that process it is like it looks like a flex dude what's next dude are we gonna watch a a video on how the canadian healthcare system is actually really fucking good 
I'm so envious, dude. But guess what? I wouldn't probably call them fake leftists and like, you know, screech about it for eight fucking days on the timeline. It's got the best name. <laughs> Don't even have to give it a name. It just has the sickest name already. So yeah, just picked up a gun from the post office. It was extremely easy. So I do look a little bit suspicious. <laughs> like this box isn't exactly subtle. Though it feels strange to be able to buy a gun online so easily, I had to spend 210 bucks and wait over two months for the privilege. This might be the main reason why Canada's gun laws seem to work. Anybody who is willing to go through the hassle of figuring out the system and jumping through all the hoops is probably more likely to be responsible with their gun. We need some ammunition, yeah? Yeah. I'm just so eager now. <laughs> it's an exciting time in a young lady's life, huh? Their first lever action. So caliber 357 Magnum and 38 Special. Maybe like one box of each. Uh, I will need to see your pal. Have it right at the ready. I like that. So we'll lock this up right now for you. Okay. Are you allowed to show me how to load it? No, right? Uh, I can show you how to load it. We're not going to load it here. Again, okay. firearms and ammunition only mix on the range. Okay. I, I hate this, dude. I, I just, like, it's, like, fucking triggering me, dude. It's so frustrating, dude. Oh, my God. A while ago, I read that there are, like, uh, you know, there is a massive audience for this YouTube channel called Ryan's Toy Reviews. And it's this, like, little Asian boy who fucking opens up all of the toys in the world, right? One of the most successful YouTube channels of all time. Like, made the most amount of money year over year for, like, the past fucking five years. And I remember reading an article about it, and it, and it was because uh, they had, like, a massive audience in India. Of just young kids in India who are watching this shit on YouTube who don't have access to fucking toys themselves. And I felt so sad. Thinking about all those kids that are, like, watching this American kid, like, open up all these toys and shit. Yeah, it's a sad story. I feel like those Indian kids right now, okay? That's what I feel like. Watching this fucking Canadian person go through the process of just, like, I don't know, uh, uh, showing you how uh, reasonable gun control could exist in a fucking country. God damn it, dude. We are such a psychopathic nation, dude. Fuck. How Canada's universal health system works? No, I don't. I'm not going to watch that. Nice. Sweet. Oh my God, you're good. Okay, let's do it. Whoa. Hit it. Cool. The lefty. How do you feel? I really like Thank you, Resident Evil, for the 10 gifted subs. Liked it. Yeah. Loved it. Felt powerful. Why are you getting so mad about this? Is the responsible gun ownership and safety using them? Shouldn't this be a good thing? I'm getting mad because I'm fucking jealous. How do you not understand that, dude? That like a better future is possible. And yet we will never have it. We'll never have it because of dumbasses. The bullshit constitutional gun right to gun ownership for personal use isn't even 15 years old. It's for case from 2008. Motherfuckers acting like Joseph Smith read it from inside a hat. From God or something, yeah. Well, I didn't really understand the appeal, like why people would cling to their guns. Mm -hmm. Not saying I'm gonna cling to a gun now, but it was fun. So having known nothing about guns before, do you feel any differently now about guns? I think I feel less scared of them, but you have to buy all this shit and you have to ha probably have a car because you oh. can't do this anywhere in Toronto. That's kind of how I feel about golf. Yeah. Or skiing, similar. S snowboarding, exact yeah. same thing. It's like you have to get up there, and then by the end it's you're It's expensive, so cold. yeah. You have to be really passionate about it. Now having shot one, I want one, kind of. Like, I'll go home tonight, and I won't have one, and I'll think. <laughs> <laughs> That's intense. 
So are Canada's gun laws responsible for our lower rate of shootings? It's tough to say for sure, since gun violence is influenced by so many factors, such as poverty, drug laws, crime, even education and healthcare. But at least in Canada, where we don't have a God-given Second Amendment, reasonable people on both sides of the gun debate agree that background checks, safety training, and mental health screening are all just common sense. From licensing to transporting to storing your gun, there are so many rules. It was fascinating to see that, but for someone like me, it's just not worth the trouble, which is why I decided to resell my rifle a few weeks later. I feel like I've been asked that question, like when I was down in the US, wouldn't you want this to protect yourself? And it's just like, no, I'd never think about that in my daily life. I guess I have like a hockey stick. Yeah. <laughs> nice. You're not gonna edit it so that I'm just like, I want a gun now. 